Okay, welcome back, J. Gray Channel. Today, I'm going to back things way up. I'm going to talk about getting dentures, okay? Now, I'm going to go way back to the beginning of the story here, because this is what people have been asking to hear, okay? So, um, basically, this all started years ago. I don't know if you can see, but I got the stitch marks here. Um, I Basically, my seatbelt didn't lock. I hit a steering wheel, had to have partials. And then, over time, I got... Uh, infections around all that all the surrounding teeth and they started to go bad so anyway I get to the point to where I'm going in I already I already have it and thought that I'm gonna get you know dental implants and all that but I go in had to get the you know the rest of my teeth taken out so you have to go through the whole denture process you have to that's just part of it so I go in uh, I remember I got there it was real early in the morning you know whenever they open I don't know what it was night or whatever and I remember I sat in the waiting room for quite some time and um, finally the dentist had come out and he was like oh you're here and I'm like yeah I'm here uh, apparently um, the surgical guys they're supposed to page them when their patients show up and they they had never paged them so <laughs> so um, I go back there and and keep in mind my my um, dentist is a grad student he's already a dentist but you know he's uh doing his special specialty uh, surgical fellowship what whatever it is that they call it and um, so I, I go I go back in there and uh, I had to go to the bathroom I, I remember I go to the bathroom and I'm talking there's a guy in the bathroom and I was really nervous and I was like uh and I'm and I remember I'm in there like rinsing my mouth out and stuff and he's looking at me kind of weird and I'm like yeah I was just eating granola bars in the waiting room <laughs> he's kind of like giving me that look like really <laughs> And I'm making small talk, and it turned out it was the head surgeon, the 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 guy who looks over all the uh, the uh, uh, grad students. <laughs> so I'm in there making jokes to him, and I come in the room, and I'm like, "Oh, I just met this guy. I just met him in the bathroom." So it was kind of funny, but uh, yeah, he was a, he he was really you know real nice guy, real knowledgeable, like like you know uh, you you wanted this guy that you know if uh, if there was any any uh, question that a you know one of the dental students asked. He he knew it. He sat there. He quizzed them all the time. He he really knew his stuff. He was the right guy to have around. And uh, so he comes in. He was kind of like you know he thought I was late. Like I didn't appreciate their time. You know because they the woman didn't page them right away. And then uh, turns out you know I was like you know they look. I guess they can look at in the computer. And he's like oh I guess he did check in on time or whatever. So I guess that squashed that, but I understand when you show up, they expect you there on time, you know. Make make everybody's day, just show up on time. I did, I mean, uh, I'm just saying that, you know. So so anyway, he sit down, we're talking. I had already known I was going to go the dental implant route, so um, <clears throat> we had already had it set up that uh, um, they knew I had to have a big cyst taken out. It was a big... And this is this is basically what killed my top teeth, what was left of them. Um, basically, when I had dental work done years before, when I had this all fixed the first time, I had gotten an infection. Now, they gave me antibiotics, but the problem is with an infection that's like a liquid that's eating, you know, like liquid infection, it grows, and it just, over time, just starts out a little tiny thing and just grows. So, what what, what happened was they gave, me an, they gave me antibiotics, and I had... Um, I had no idea that it, the infection had to come out. I, I did not know that. I, I absolutely had no idea. I thought, take antibiotics, we good. So then a few months later, I go back in and had the same issue. So it was a nagging thing for a very long time. And the weird thing was when I would go in, they just only gave me antibiotics. And, and you know, if, if you wanted something for pain or whatever. But uh, uh, I remember it was mostly just like... Um, you know, like ibuprofen worked the best because it was a throbbing deal anyway. So, um, I I had gone through that many many times. So I go in and I knew I was getting this cyst taken out. Now at the same time, since we already had decided, you know, long ago, that uh, we were going to do dental implants, um, they knew taking out part of the cyst because I had what the biggest that my dentist had seen the the dentist and the surgeon. So. Um, it was kind of scary when they tell you that, and they're like, it's the biggest I've seen, and they're telling you it's starting to eat away the bone, and and you're like, wow, oh man, you know, but uh, they got it out, um, and then, 
you know, they start taking out, you know, the rest of the teeth and whatnot. Then they go in and they do a, a bone graft, okay? They start, start getting bone grafting done so they could build up and thicken up some of this. It's say, it, I, I am telling you, if, if you're planning on getting dental implants, okay, ask them, ask them, ask them. It does not hurt to ask to see if you need bone grafts because it will save you so many months of waiting. If you can get the bone, the faster you can get the bone grafts done, the faster you can go through the process, okay? Just, just bear with me and just ask if, if you're going through the process. So go in there, they're, they're pulling the, the teeth, they start doing all the top ones, and they did the bone grafting. And it's kind of funny, they fill in, it kind of looks like a, it's, it's hard to explain, it kind of looks like a little pebbled, uh, jello powdery looking crud. I don't know what it is, pig or what they put in. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't remember. I had asked, I remember, but um, and I only had Novocaine done when I did this, so um, uh, maybe I'm a bit of a control freak. I, don't, I only had Novocaine, but um, uh, anyway, they go in, they 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 take the teeth out, they do the bone graft, and then they're looking at the time because they had to do all the bone grafting and stuff. He says, "Well, I don't know. Do we really have time to do the bottom?" And I'm looking like, "Oh man, I'm here. Do the bottom." do the bottom <laughs> and luckily he said well I'll start and we'll see if we have enough time and luckily they didn't have um, too many issues and the the teeth that were left they were able to get out and um, and and of course I was I was very sore like everybody else you know and um, I did not did not go home immediately with anything in I, I, I didn't um, I uh, was only going to get one denture. It wasn't. I wasn't getting like a immediate. I was basically going going in there because I had a big puff out here inside inside my um, my gum line from that big cyst. So they didn't want to contour anything. So they waited for this to heal a little bit, and then they had sent me home with. Uh, let me grab them here. I'd gotten a. Let me find it. These babies right here. I had gotten these. A little different, huh? <laughs> but I had gotten these. And um, turns out after I got dental implants or whatever, thing, it threw everything off anyway. I, I, nev I never wore them anyway. But as you can see, the there's nothing left. There's no there's not even teeth on the bottom ones here. It's just because it throws everything off as soon as you get the implants. Not, not, not for everybody, but underneath my skin it didn't. I, I didn't wear them anyway because I had... Uh, I had heard that constantly eating it could mess with the implants healing under the skin, so I was a little, I didn't, I didn't like them. They kind of grossed me out, these, uh, these things. They, they really did. I, I didn't, I'm, t I'm telling you, I, I didn't, um, I didn't wear them, and then I started getting boned, um, uh, you know, where your, your, uh, resorption, I'm getting bone resorption, so I go, I bring, <laughs> I got these in a plastic bag. I got them in a little denture thing, wrapped up in paper, in a in a brown paper bag that I brought to almost all my appointments. And they're like, he's like, is that your teeth? I'm like, yeah, these are. Um, but I, I would pull them out, and as you can see, there's. It actually feels really nice. It feels really nice. There's a soft line in there, because I had tried to put them in one day in front of them, and they just, they just went poop, fell right down. So he says, well, let's do a soft line. And of course, he had to pull it out because it was crooked. They get it in there, and it's crooked. So, you know, but uh, that's pretty much my story. For you know, I got all stitched up. Obviously, went home. I ate most of my stitches because they came out when I was eating or what whatnot. I think he found one or two when I went back in there, and they were like the real deep back ones that feel like rope coming through. Yeah, those those are horrible. But um, basically, got these babies. Uh, I didn't really wear them, you know. I I I just didn't. And and you know, part of it was is I, it was such a process and all that. And the bottom was just never right. It just was just was never right. Now I could have went through the whole process of having them redo it, but it would have delayed the process be, of be, of uh, getting all the implants. And I said, forget it. I was just going to move forward. So. But uh, that's basically that's basically it. I mean, um, ended up uh, I, I started healing just fine, and then 
um, I think it was about four or five days later, I started having some pretty severe pain back there. I went back in, and of course, you know, I had uh, a few dry sockets, and, uh, you know, they fixed that up. So, um, that that's uh, basically the story of how my day went getting uh, getting these bad boys. So, you know, uh, I, I, I guess I would suggest to people, i uh, dropping my feet teeth here. I, you know, I, I get, I get all these people asking quite a bit, what do I think? I think if your teeth are messed up and they're uh, really affecting your day-to-day -day life, you need to do something about it. You, you do. And I would pretty much tell everybody, go through with it. You know, um, get the bad teeth out. Get, get it. Um, whether you're uh, doing the uh, denture thing or you want to step up and uh, to, to implants. I, I would suggest doing it. Alright. So that's my adventure adventure. Right. See ya.